Last week, when I was chasing comms issues and working on this garbage system, I noticed something getting a little toasty. So, being the genius that I am, I thought, that looks hot. Let me touch it. It was, in fact, too hot for my baby hands. But why? Why has this relay forsaken me? AC 24 volt. Well, that might have something to do with it, since this is a DC power supply. While we let Edison and Tesla hash it out in the afterlife, I'm going to go ahead and verify that this is, in fact, a DC circuit. And it looks like it is. Yep, definitely DC voltage on an AC relay. And that relay has been in there for quite a long time. Believe it or not, this is a very common mistake that integrators make in my area. And the relays will last a surprisingly long time. This relay was actually still working. I just noticed it looked like crap. And of course, the only relay I had in my truck was only a two pole. It is a little deceiving because it looks like it'll fit and it will fit in the base, but we need that center set of contacts, which are missing in a two pole. So back to the shop we go, where we find a bunch of other burned up relays in the relay drawer. Because for some reason, we like to hoard trash. Okay, calm down, gently get rid of these, and move on with our lives. There we go, now we got a three pole relay, and it's even 24 volts DC. It's got a few bent blades, but we'll straighten them out. That is the disadvantage to blade relays. You never get that with pin relays, even though they're old school. And there you go, another easy one done. But I got curious, so I decided to take the old relay apart. You can see it's pretty well cooked. It was actually baking the lacquer off the coil, but like I said, it was still working. While I had it apart, I figured it'd be a good time to give you guys a crappy crash course in how electromagnetic relays work. There's your two coil blades. They could be pins. In this case, it's blades. And they go to your magnetic coil, which is just an electromagnet. They also go to your indicator light, if you have that in your relay. And then you have your contacts, which is the next three pins. That's your common coming up on that little piece of wire and hitting that little bus bar. And that bus bar is pulled down by the electromagnet to change the state of the relay. That top blade is the normally closed because when the relay is de-energized, it is connecting to common and the bottom is the normally open because it is not. So when you give power to the coil, the state swap, the normally open becomes closed, connecting to the common and the normally closed becomes open, disconnecting from common. Because there's normally only two paths for the electricity to flow, it is a double throw relay, and because we have three separate sets of contacts, all electrically separated, it is a triple pole relay. So this is a triple pole double throw relay, or TPDT. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Bye.